Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Village, where we last left off. Well, we bumped into Chris, had a bit of a chinwag with him, basically learnt nothing, uh, apart from the fact that we're way over our head, and we discovered that we need to turn the power on to drain the sluice gates. However, I think that's going to be a little bit more involved than uh, Ethan here originally thought. So, let's go. Now... We did upgrade our rifle. Uh, we got the cheek rest and the scope, which is quite nice. Uh, I, I still, you know, I'm not sure how important they were. I think we probably could have done the game without them. Um, but, you know, I guess we've got to get all of the upgrades. Uh, yeah, we also got the head flask as well from our friend Monroe who basically looks like an infested uh, an infested yeah an infested testicle sack not the best looking fellow but hey once we strap a shotgun to his ass I'm sure uh, I'm sure he'll look a lot better I mean he'll at least be dead so you know interesting character definitely seems to have a bit of a complex now so there we go oh yeah this is I was confused here like what the hell's going on why is there so much in the journal it's because I'm pushing the wrong button obviously <clears throat> so February 9th, Rose's body is in these flasks. Who the fuck would do such a thing? My brain can't keep up with everything that's happening right now. The Duke did say there was a way to save her. It's hard to believe him, but the only thing I can do is ask the man that lives in the house in the red chimney. So Rose was divided into four flasks and given to the four lords. Um, Lady D, Donna, Moreau and Heisenberg. Right, let's actually go back there a minute. Uh, yeah I can save Rose if I get all four of those I still don't trust this Duke but he was right about this one thing time to get my daughter back yes hmm I saw Mia in the fog what is she doing here no she's gone I have to accept that but I guess part of me still can't those waking nightmares I was having in that house was all the work of Donna. But I admit I'm still worried about the thing that Mia wouldn't tell me before. And now I'll never know what it was. Only two flasks left. I swear I'll at least save Rose. Yeah, the thing that um, Mia wanted to tell Ethan was quite interesting as well. It wasn't some low-hanging fruit thing. Uh, it was actually quite interesting. Now, Donna... Yes, she could conjure up hallucinations. So I'm guessing the baby in the basement of her house was actually a uh, hallucination, which doesn't make sense how she actually killed you in that case, unless, you know, you was actually being butchered, but in your mind you saw yourself being eaten by a baby, which I guess is possible. Now I actually think about it. And then, of course, we have the third page. I finally got hold of the third flask, but the exit was blocked by that asshole Monroe. I need to find another way out. There's something else nagging me, though. He said something about Miranda wanting her baby back. I have a feeling he wasn't talking about Rose. Hmm. Ran into Chris and his goons in a shack by the lake. They seem to be researching something. What are they up to? I had so many questions. But that giant fish turns... Oh, I had so many questions. But then that giant fish, turns out, was Monroe attacked. I need to get out of here. But he said the exit was underwater. Mm-hmm. Right, so continuing on. Well, I guess we really only have one place to go. And that is through the door ahead of us. What are they up to indeed? Well, they're not sitting around uh, singing camp songs to each other, that's for sure. 
And of course, there's an outhouse. Now, this surprised me. We got an achievement here. When you gotta go, you gotta go. This is the last outhouse in the game. I was quite disappointed at this particular point because I was like, oh man, that means we've seen pretty much everything there is into the game, at least the village wise. And this is definitely one of those games that I really didn't want to end. It was also one of my longest um, recording sessions because after this video, when I realised what was actually going on with fucking shadow play, which is a terrible tool in my opinion, um, I think I sat down pretty much for about nine hours straight and finished the game in one setting. I couldn't stop playing it. So now we have in the truck, this crank is old and busted up. It feels like it's gonna snap at any second. I hope it doesn't break. The only other one we have is over at Windmill 2. Hmm. That leads me to think that this crank is gonna snap. But before we worry about that, we have some chickens. Nice, tasty, delicious chickens. And a crystal fragment, because why not? Do you still feel bad about skinning these animals? But we need the meat. We definitely need the meat. Poor birds. Poultry, lovely. I fancy chicken now. Maybe we'll have chicken something for dinner. Hmm, see what I'm thinking here with these long range kind of towers. I was definitely thinking the rifle was going to come in handy here, but um, I don't think we really needed it. Let's grab the rounds. Five rounds doesn't sound like much, but five rounds is five rounds, yo. That's a dead werewolf. I'm sorry, a dead lichen. Now, right here, I could hear one of those um, goats of warding. You can really hear it quite intensely. Now, a couple of those goats of warding are really slyly hidden. Now, there's our crank. Well... At least the one that we read about being brittle. No points for guessing what's going to happen to that. And I was like, I can hear the fucking goat. I had a feeling I was standing right on top of it. And well, mm. not sure what we get for destroying all of those because I still haven't done that. I'm guessing we just get a lot of money that we can spend in the extra point shop. <sighs> Now this crank idea is quite interesting. Oops. We read about it being broken. <laughs> we read about it being Seriously? broken, so it was pretty obvious it was gonna break. Yeah. Yep, it's like that. And I will say, like, I think I've said this before, but the, the actual sound effects in this game, uh, the cracking of wood, and uh, you know, just the ambience is out of this world. It's really good. I've got another mill that's supposed to be cracking corn, but I guess it's not. guess this one's out of action due to Monroe jumping around. Look at this, he's killed all those fish friends. I mean, surely he has fish friends. They're like his only friends. 
I mean, he definitely is the butt of every joke around this place, even to his own omission. Yeah, I was just looking at this place thinking, whoop. This place is pretty fucked up. Yep. 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 And it's all over. Yeah, I was kind of confused for a while about that because it didn't seem to be timing related, but these puzzle this puzzle and getting through this is just all about timing. And to be honest, it's not that hard. It's a pretty quick process as well. Now shooting that doesn't seem to do an awful lot of much. Looks like it's still caught on something. There's handgun rounds there. Pretty sure we missed those last time. Now this is where I was thinking to myself, well fuck. And I saw the zip line and I was like, ah. That seems a little bit obvious. I guess we'll just zip line across the whole thing. <laughs> As the arbiter would say, were it so easy. It wasn't a bad thought, but in hindsight, why would there be, you know, an obvious path that we can create through the water? If we could just zip line over the whole lot. Didn't really make a whole lot of sense. As you can see, that ain't it, Chief. So I thought, ah, that fancy rifle that we just upgraded. Surely there's something around here that we can shoot. Something we can bring down. But again, that ain't it, Chief. But look at that windmill. It's so close. It's so close. It's right there. It's just tempting us. Uh oh. Yeah. Doesn't look like Ethan takes falling damage, which is cool. And I'm fine with that as well, by the way. Oof, here's the big boy. Old fish breath. Now notice that time. Fucking hell, it's like Echo the Dolphin all over again. Notice that time we went straight across. And I don't think our timing was even that different. But we just managed to skip across it. So, not really sure. There we go. There's the path that we were looking for. Lovely. Okay. Always got time to stop and pick up some coins. Ethan's just that kind of guy. Ah, the old cart puzzles. Lovely. <laughs> Damn! We need about seven more. Well, seven more might be a bit of an exaggeration. And look at this bullshit over here. We've got like red, orange and white. Who the hell did that? I mean, honestly. Definitely seems a little bit odd, to say the least. Uh, look at that. Ugh, stinks. Looks like he literally shit in that. Uh, yeah. I think we're going to want a flamethrower. 
So here comes big boy. Big beautiful testicle sack. Now, this was problematic. It took me a while to realise what was going on here. Oof. I was thinking, huh. Seems like only a few of them can be up at once. And if you fuck it up, in the water you go. But no. The trick is timing. You've got to be pretty quick. Which is fine. And I was very relieved to find a checkpoint here. Right, so you've got to flip that one up. Run like a bastard. Flip that one. Oh yeah, I tried going back, didn't I? Then realised, uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. I'm dead. Game over, man. Game over. You are dead. Yes, we are. I did think this was a very odd puzzle. I mean, it's so blatantly obvious looking at it now. But I just, I don't <laughs> understand the point of it. It seems like a really pointless puzzle. I mean, I guess calling calling it a puzzle, to be honest with you, is a bit of a stretch. Because once you get to this point, it's pretty obvious what you got to do. Now, there's possibly like some extra treasure and stuff around here that I didn't see. Now, Magnum Ammo. Magnum Ammo is supremely rare in this game. Now another thing I didn't realise is I'm pretty sure when we flick these a second time they actually stay up now. They don't break. I don't know why. Monroe's just jumping around like the giant fucking nutsack he is. Ugh, I can only imagine what he smells like. Oh god. It's like if you leave a fish pie. Of course you are, pal. If you leave a fish pie out in the sun for about a month. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think your mum is really interested in you, buddy. Kind of get the feeling we're doing her a favour by uh, exterminating you guys in sequence. Doesn't it feel like we're collecting these things? Definitely feels like we're collecting these things for her. But hey, that's just my thoughts. Definitely get the feeling there's some goodies here. I mean, I don't think there was, unless there was a goat of warding hidden up there somewhere, which there could have been. But there literally could be a goat of warding anywhere. Look at that, that's just like a case full of, I guess, his spawn. Ugh. Yeah, that's pretty fucking disgusting. Definitely gonna want a flamethrower. That's for sure. Globules of his pus everywhere. At least I hope that's his pus. You wouldn't want to try the caviar around here, that's for sure. I mean, I wouldn't want to try the caviar non-stop, but... Ugh. Dirty bastard. And I guess you you can't be too hard on him. He can't help it, I suppose. Can't help being a disgusting, filthy wretch. We're doing him a favour by putting him down, in all fairness. Right. Again, there could be goats of warding here. I get the feeling there probably was.
<laughs> I feel like a bit of Ethan's personality comes through there, and I actually quite like that bit. Caught me a big one. Yeah, you did. Now, I tried going down there, but the game wouldn't let me. So, I spent a while thinking, how the fuck do I get over to that ship? I mean, it seems obvious, right? You just jump up and over. But, no, the game was having none of it. Yep, I'm pushing forwards, but the game's not having it. And then suddenly it just let me go through. Yep, need to go. Go, go, go. Ah, you dirty little pus sucking bastard. Come on. There we go. Ah, uh, go, Ethan. <laughs> and we would literally like. About 0.2 seconds too slow. So we got fucking sliced. Now that's quite frustrating to be honest. But at least you get a you know save point right here, so it's not too bad. Now one thing that did irritate me in this game, uh, if I have to be nitpicky. It's just how crap he is with that knife. Seemed to take him a lot longer to break that down the second time, but then we didn't fuck around like we did in the first time. I think that's something I complained about actually. I said it seemed to, you know, we seemed to have a lot more time um, second try, but then watching the footage back, we were way faster. Won't drag it on nutsack around. And the I'm always suspect about these little holes as well. Always get the feeling that there's something. Something that we can look at in the distance, but no. Now this seems pretty obvious. You can't climb up it like that. Hmm. Very sus. Well, there's the crank. I like the way we take the crank out of the hole. Only to need to put it back in. I really like this mechanical kind of aspect. This was cool. And where's Ethan keeping all these supplies anyway? Hmm. Bit convenient, but okay. And there's an awful lot of yellow in this game pointing the way forwards, which, you know, I guess it's fine, but it just it, it looks a bit odd. Well, I guess we've done everything we need to do. Connected all the dots. Ooh. So, close. so close. For once in his life, for once, he could almost taste victory. But no. He is doomed to failure. Like the pathetic little cretin he is. I do feel a little bit sorry for Monroe, but he's definitely a snivelling little turd. Okay. Definitely has one hell of an inferiority complex, which is fine. You know, he's not exactly a pretty thing, is he? Of all the mutations, and he came out looking like an inside inside out butthole you look at what happened to the others I think Heisenberg got off best he actually came away looking pretty good well then feel free to peruse okay so I think I was going to buy a dish here but then I decided that uh, the best thing to do would be to wait Wait until I get the finest fish. Well, 
whilst Duke's puffing away on his fucking great big cigars. Can't blame him. Now, there's obviously some kind of interesting story behind the Duke. And I'm hoping we do find it out at some point. And there's that fatal mistake again, saving over the same slot over and over. Yeah. But, you know, I don't think so. I mean, we never really found out anything about the mysterious... Um, uh, merchants in 4, I don't think. Now, this was an interesting puzzle. Uh, on face value, it's really obvious and really easy. Um, in fact, it's very easy if you notice the gauge above the buttons. Because every time you get it right, you get an extra lit up square. But I was too stupid when I was doing this to realise that. Now, when I did this, um, with when my missus was playing, I actually just took a photo of that um, thing and rotated it. It's probably going to be quite painful to sit here and watch this back, especially when you know how easy it is. You're like, for God's sakes, man. You're going backwards. No, you're miles off. Miles off. It just looks sad now. We've only got three right. I can almost hear my fucking brain churning over. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Two left. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Think, man. Think. Is it... Is it going to be that time? You've literally just got to swap two over. It's so easy. <laughs> oh, God. This is fucking painful. It's painful for me to watch. Ah, one left. One left. Come on, dude. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. It's so easy. There you go. No, no, I was wrong that time. There we go. It's so easy, man. Right, let's flick this shit switch and see what happens. And now I start moaning. Well, not moaning, but I start seeing if we could actually rotate this thing properly. And we actually can. But unfortunately, it doesn't stay rotated. Which would have been a pretty cool touch if we could just rotate that. So it's actually lying down the way we wanted it to lay down. But no. That would have been way too easy. And there's the sluice gates draining. Now Monroe's going to start panicking. Although I do worry where all of that infected, pus-filled water is going to end up. I mean, it's going back into the planet. Or the planet is going back into the uh, ecosystem. Oh, you can hear him roaring. He's not a happy bunny. Not a happy bunny at all. I actually quite like that bit of animation there where it all drains out as well. Welcome, Ethan. Now, did we actually upgrade anything here? I can't remember, to be honest. Uh, 
I don't even think we can upgrade. Oh my god, look at the damage of that shotgun. It's really bad. Then the damage of that handgun is really bad as well. It's got to be said, the Duke makes some interesting noises. I've procured some new items. Yeah, but you kind of haven't, though, have you? You've got a couple of pipe bombs and some mines. We still got the necklace with two holes. Juicy game. Hmm. To think I would buy such things. <laughs> well, you wanted it, buddy. Look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, from this point onwards, the commentary should return to normal. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.